you better dig it, you hear? You guys have known me as a redhead since 2009. I want to go ahead and just kind of show you the before here. You guys know my hair. This is layers and layers of L'Oreal Feria, and I know Robin's loving that. And uh, <laughs> as well as a door semi-permanent hair color over the top. So anyway, this is the before color, and we will see what happens during this uh, process that is likely to take a while. here but what basically what you're seeing here is my natural warmth underneath all that red all those layers and layers and layers of red it's stage one down we've got a few more stages to go <laughs> bye Robin Tucker Salon for stage two of uh, the journey to grace is what I'm calling this because I kind of for once in my life decided I wanted to be a um, wanted to have Grace Kelly hair so anyway um, this was part of stage one which is basically lifted and it burned so bad right there at the end most of you probably don't know this that um, in the last video I couldn't take it anymore, so we ended up um, doing this in two stages. The bleach made my scalp so sensitive that when she put the color on to kind of tone down the brassiness and pull up the eye uh, to even it out, it just was too painful. So any of you thinking of going a drastic change from red or black to blonde, keep that in mind. You may need to do it in stages. As a matter of fact, to prevent your hair from falling out, you probably should. Hopefully we'll be leaving here today with much closer uh, to the picture that I had in my head. Um, I've been brassy for a few days, but it's been kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of a strawberry blonde, so you know. But anyway, it was, um, uh, it's kind of a, of a um, it's an anxious wait to finally get up to the point where I want to be, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I wonder what's going to happen. All these people who think Elvis is still alive, what's going to happen when he's going to be he's too old to be alive? You know what I mean? That's coming. It's going to happen eventually. <laughs> Elvis is still alive, Elvis but he's 120. Exactly. 
exactly what I wanted. This is after the haircut and after the color. And um, what I wanted was kind of a honey blonde, and that's what I got. Um, it's very close to my natural color, but it feels wonderful. My hair still feels like it's in good shape. It feels soft and it feels silky. And because of that, I can feel a lot more confident when I come in and bring more blonde through. And I will do that in the form of natural looking highlights because I wanted this hair to look natural. I didn't want it to be platinum. And if you look at a lot of the well, headshots, girls embrace their natural is color a lot of the time. Um, I just decided that that was the direction I wanted to go now. I have been bold, bold red and bold platinum blonde. And this was, it was time I felt like to kind of go a new direction, do something a little more natural. Um, this haircut is fantastic. It is layered so that I can still do all of my vintage hairstyles, but it is layered with that specifically in mind. And she took a razor and um, kind of textured the ends, not textured, but tapered the ends the way that a lot like the way that Ivan Anderson explained how to do it in his book that I've mentioned before. So anyway, Robin. What? This is Robin. Hello. <laughs> I know you guys wanted to see her face. She is the ghost no, that's no, no, been no, no, behind no, no, no. here the whole time. It's all her. <laughs> So that's all you're going to see of her, but I am so thrilled and I'm so excited. And if you are anywhere near Memphis, we're talking, if you're in within a thousand miles of Memphis, you've got to come see this woman. And I can't wait to, um, to get to styling it. I'm really excited. And we'll talk later. Bye. You'll see it progressively get blonder over the course of the next few months.